It's really a disappointment that we're in this situation, Mayor Ravenstahl said. Of Pittsburgh. Our colleges and universities are giving less and less while they increase tuition and executive pay and expand their campuses, removing high-value land from the tax rolls. The cost to provide public safety and public work services continue to increase, but our revenue continues to decrease. Sounds like... Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Pittsburgh. Oh, what did we get from Pittsburgh? Steel. Well, what else did we get from Pittsburgh? Penguins? No. Didn't we get that, what's that, uh, creative? The creative class. Yeah, wasn't he from Pittsburgh? And he spent some time there at Carnegie Mellon. Yeah, that's where he came up with this idea yeah. and then moved off to Canada where it suits his more uh, political... I thought he was in D.C. Well, he moves all around. Yeah. yeah. that's He's isn't a good-looking fella. Richard, Florida. He's Richard, Florida, which all the women in this town love. They love Richard, Florida. He's a good-looking guy. That's why we got it. Okay. But, but the point is, is that this is kind of what's happening to Dayton. We see UD expand. And expand and expand. So they talked about buying the NCR corporate headquarters. Is that now not going to be a taxable item? Yeah, if NCR buys it, there goes... It goes UD off the buys tax it. Rolls. it, 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 goes, it if, yeah, excuse me. If UD buys it, off the tax rolls. Just like uh, the Deeds Farm. That's right. Kettering Hospital just bought it. They're a non-profit. Profit. There you go. But they seem uh, to show up, all these non-profit guys that run these organizations, you know, they seem uh, to be giving a lot to campaigns. Yes, they do. If you look at the campaign finance reports, I know we try to link all these, um, I hate to say Interlocking directories. <laughs> yes, well, yes, those that run your life here and you will continue to squeeze. What, what did they talk about in the 70s? The Trilateral Commission. It's a big conspiracy. It's, it is. Well, it's just a bunch of self-interested group think people. They elect the same people. They talk in the same circles. But the long story the short... The country club set. Yes, yes. Yes. The Dayton country club set. Oh! I'm going to get in trouble. Mayor Ravenstahl really has to increase... He wants to put a 1% tax on students because he has to pay for pensions. Pensions. And, and to maintain public services. And he, says, he says all those universities, they're, they're costing the city and not paying back. Now, the students are arguing, hey, you know, we spend money, we have jobs, we uh, go to concerts, we pay for parking fines, we do all those things just like anybody else. And, you know, when you talk about the creative class, isn't that what you want to do is bring in those students because the creative class is going to save everything. Yeah, but that creative class, you know, typically will not stay in Dayton and do their creation. They will get the heck out. So they, won't stay, they won't stay in Pittsburgh either. <laughs> well, they won't stay in Pittsburgh either. But, but Ravenstall has to pay for pension. So there's only one of two ways to go is to either tax the students or, what I would like to do, hack the pensions. Yeah, I, I, I think even better. I mean, Deneen, does he really deserve any let, let, <laughs> Let's Let's get off of that. Let's just take a look at, for instance, the UD Ghetto. There was a guy that used to own a whole bunch of property down there, and he had illegal rooming houses, and the city didn't like him much because he was making a lot of money. Because you run out of a house for, you know, two-thirds of the year, and you run it out by the room, by the semester, you can make some pretty good money. But no, UD figured out a way to buy up all those properties and turn them into UD housing, and granted, the condition of the houses went, improved vastly, but... They all came off the tax rolls. So the city took, you know, a big hit right there. And I've got a really question as we see Miami Valley Hospital keeps expanding, and we see UD expanding, and we see these hospitals, other hospitals, buying new real estate in Beaver Creek and expanding. And, and remember, our, our health insurance has gone through the roof. Cost of tuition has gone through the roof. And they're not paying any taxes. So when John Gower brought up the, oh, we've got meds, eds, and feds, I wrote a post, and there's one problem with that. None of them pay taxes, at least property taxes. They pay payroll tax. Well, it, now that UD owns that, I mean, I ride my bike yeah. a lot yeah. down through UD. They put a nice little, like, crossing thing that looks like bricks. But if you ride down through there, the asphalt is terrible. So who really has to replace that asphalt? Is it that... Is it UD? UD doesn't replace the asphalt. On the so that's the city of Dayton. The city of Dayton has to maintain all that. Well, that doesn't, I mean, 
Well, if I was UD, I'd be upset, but maybe, you know, the UD was, or City of Dayton probably playing C a little City game. City of Dayton took care of Stewart Street for them, you know, with the new bridge and everything. But man, I tell you what, my teeth chatter riding up and down through UD, all that bumps and whatever. Here, you now you'll wonder why I'm out in the lane, because if you're over on the curb, you'll be up over end and you'll so, get run over so, end. Anyway. So, should we take a look at taxing nonprofits? I well, mean, there should there be we, such a thing as nonprofits? Yeah, we've got all these churches. Churches. Look like, at all this real estate those, that does those, those, nothing. Those mega churches don't pay any property tax. Nobody pays any property the tax. The small churches, they don't pay any property tax. It, Why don't we turn this into a church? The Church of David and Gray. Oh, yeah. I love that. I'm going to be a preacher someday. This is something we, you know, I think we need to discuss and we need to talk about. about it. Because. Really, I mean, look at Miami Valley Hospital. They seem to be doing okay. UD seems to be okay. It seems like nonprofit's the way to go. Don't pay taxes. Pay your executives big dollars. And uh, But remember, you know, those a lot of those hospitals are getting their money from Medicare, a socialist organization. Oh, but Medicare doesn't even come close to reimbursing them their real true <laughs> costs. Yeah. Anyway, we've talked enough about that today, I think. So, we? I'll, I'll post a link to this article in the New York Times along with this and uh, discuss. Something, something to look at and have a conversation about. we got a lot of students here. Should we be taxing them? See you next week. Yep. Tomorrow. Whatever. Oh, I'm not supposed to get out of screen. <laughs>